Zach's Rank Buys, stocks with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. Now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Momentum stock picks, stocks with an upward trajectory. So we're going to talk about here with Mike Vodica, our Momentum Stock Strategist at Zax.com. CVR Partners Limited Partnership. I was wondering yes. how long it was going to take you to throw a limited partnership <laughs> into the mix here. Yeah. Uh, UAN, the ticker symbol, this is a fertilizer company. Yes, it is. Uh, this is a company that was actually spun off from another company just in April, and it's sort of unique in the fertilizer space because it's a small capper. Fertilizers are dominated by large companies like Agrium, CF, and Potash, and this has a market cap of $1.7 billion, so that kind of makes it a unique play in the fertilizer space. So spun off from another fertilizer company? No, actually, um, CVR Partners was a refining company. Oh, okay. And so they kind of wanted to unleash the value of this division, so they spun it off on its own. Interesting. Yeah, at any rate, um, the company's been doing great since they went public. Share price has seen some really nice gains, and that comes on the back of some really strong growth in sales and earnings. We saw that show up in August with strong second quarter results. Sales were up 43% year over year. The company produced a really nice 6% earnings surprise, so that's great. We're always looking for that. Mm -hmm. um, what we saw is the, the good quarter was a, really just a simple matter of two things. It was higher prices from last year and increased volume. So you put those two things together, and you're going to have a good quarter. Uh, we also saw some pretty good movement in estimates uh, off the second quarter results. We saw the uh, current year add $0.14 cents to $1.77, and the next year estimate is projecting 6% growth at $1.87, so that's definitely respectable. So if CVR was doing so well with this division, why wouldn't they just keep it under their umbrella? Why would they spin it off? Well, that's something that um, companies like to do is that they feel like it'll give investors an opportunity to get more of a pure play on a specific segment of the market as opposed to having to invest in um, you know, two different, distinctly different divisions. This allows the, the investor to go after one specific kind of market. Okay. Uh, getting into the valuation picture a little bit, um, shares do look a little bit pricey, trading at uh, the peg ratio of two. The benchmark for value is one, so it is kind of expensive. And I think that the market's pricing in the possibility of an acquisition of another company coming and buying these guys, so that, that shows up in the higher multiple. Mm -hmm. Moving into the company's share price, we have, like I said, they went public in, just in April at sixteen seventy-five. Uh, since then, they've topped off just above $26. Wow. Yeah, some really nice gains on the table. Shares have pulled back a little bit in the recently volatile market, but there's a trend line that's in place, so that's a place to look for support. All right. Then there's that ever popular Foot Locker, FL, the ticker <laughs> symbol. Yeah. The retailer of athletic footwear and apparel. You've talked about them before. I have talked about them. Um, they've done really well in the, the uh, sort of shaky consumer environment over the last couple of years. Uh, share price has seen some really nice gains. Uh, we saw that uh, show up in their uh, second quarter results also from August. Um, revenue was up 16% year over year. Earnings actually doubled the Zach's consensus estimate. They came in at $0.24. Cents. Uh, Zach's consensus estimate was looking for just $0.12, cents, so that was a really nice quarter for them. And the key driver for the quarter, which is a key retail metric, is same-store sales. Their same-store sales were up 11.8%, so that's a really impressive number out of retail for Foot Locker. Mm -hmm. Uh, moving into uh, some of the uh, more details of the quarter is companies also repurchasing shares. We're seeing a lot of companies do that right now. They have a lot of, a lot of companies have a lot of cash on the balance sheet, so they're trying to find something to do with it. Foot Locker purchased 1.3 million shares during the quarter, and uh, they've purchased 2.8 million shares this year, so they're returning some value to their shareholders, which is great to see. I have that problem personally myself. <laughs> Too much Too cash, much cash, right? Later on. <laughs> We saw some pretty decent movement in estimates off the good quarter. The current year was up $0.10 cents to $1.66. The next year estimate is looking for 11.5% growth, so that's pretty solid too. The, uh, the valuation picture looks pretty good. Peg ratio of 1.1, so that's only a little bit above the benchmark for value. And then moving into the chart here, uh, we saw a new 52-week high in uh, late July, and or I'm sorry, early July at 25.50. Shares, again, have pulled back a little bit, but we have the trend line that's in place. So, again, that's a place to look for support with Foot Locker. All right. The problem with me is my family always knows what to do with it. <laughs> Spend. Do you own either of these two? Uh, no, I don't. All right. We have more stock pick ideas for you on our homepage at Zax.com. If you're not accessing this video from the homepage, get to the homepage, Zax.com. Four new picks for you each business day, one in each of the investing categories that we write about. And with Mike, I'm Terry Ruffalo.